So we left off saying that Islam is both a religion and a way of life. And I'm sure the question on everyone's mind then is, well, what do you have to do if you are Muslim? And the first thing to really keep in mind is the five pillars of Islam. It's probably you know, something you've heard before, you maybe learned about it last year. The pillars are the five duties that all Muslims accept, starting with the Shahada, the declaration of faith or witness. There is no God but Allah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Muslims do believe in other messengers like Abraham, like Moses, like Jesus, but Muhammad is the last prophet and he is the greatest prophet. The second pillar is the Salaf the daily prayer. This can be done anywhere after a ritual washing as long as you're facing Mecca. And if you're in Mecca, you want to be facing the great mosque of Mecca. Prayer is said five times per day. It can be done anywhere, but if you wanted to pray in community, the mosque is the house of worship. And traditionally, Muslims will gather as a community to say the um, later afternoon prayers on Friday, which is considered the holy day for Muslims. Um, at this great mosque in Mecca is the Kaaba, which is a sanctuary that had been used um, in the age of Muhammad in Mecca for all the gods. Lots of pilgrimages were done there and there were lots of shrines. This particular shrine, this Kaaba, is said to have been built by Abraham thousands of years ago. So it's very, very old. And when Muhammad returned to Mecca, he rededicated the Kaaba, got rid of all the other idols, and made it an Islamic mosque. And here we have some pictures of the great mosque as well as the Kaaba, which is the stone, the black stone sanctuary right in the middle. The next pillar is the zakat, giving charity to poor, the poor. Uh, and we also have the psalm, which is fasting from sunrise to sunset during the month of Ramadan. Now, unlike the months on our calendar, which are very consistent, they follow the solar cycle and they're consistent, I should say, seasonally. December is always winter, July is always summer. The Islamic calendar, because it follows the lunar cycle, is only a little more than 11 months long. So every year, the months fall into a different, or every couple of years, the months will fall into a different season. So sometimes Ramadan can be in the winter when the days are very short. Uh, and then at other times, Ramadan is in the summer when the days are very, very long and sunset doesn't actually happen until late into the day. So sometimes it's easier to keep the fast um, than other times. Once in a lifetime, Muslims make the Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca. And then the last thing to really point out concerning the, um, the duties is the duty known as jihad, which is striving for moral and religious perfection. This was misinterpreted centuries ago by Europeans who called jihad a holy war. And this mistake lingers today, um, and, and we'll be discussing in class sort of the consequences of this mistake. Another thing to keep in mind is that Islamic law, or Sharia, is the code of behavior based on both what was written in the Quran as well as the example that Muhammad set based on accounts of his life. Muslims are also forbidden to eat certain foods like pork and alcohol. They're called upon to wear simple clothing, and they're called upon to either not own slaves or if they do own slaves, to treat them very nicely. Islam spreads rapidly, rapidly um, in the 700s, the 800s, the 900s. And part of the reason why is this message, wear simple clothes, treat your slaves well, was very popular among the lower classes who were living at that time.